Coach, fair to say there's still some uh, work to be done. What would you say the priority areas after watching that 80 minutes? Uh, our priority area is to make sure we stay together. Uh, really important. We're in a very difficult time as a club. Uh, obviously, um, we are not going to make decisions quickly. We're not going to become a, one of the top sides straight away. Um, obviously, the re reason probably why the decision happened last week was because things were not going great. Um, I've spoke to the players after the match. I told them that it's up to us as coaches to coach as much as we can into them, get training plans if, and, and, and make us feel like we're improving them little steps by little steps by little steps. There's no quick fix in this, unfortunately. We haven't won a second half all year on the school board. So it's not just a matter of skill or what you need to do. It's a matter of a whole picture of training hard, binding it together, taking small improvements, week in, week out, trusting our systems, yeah, and then just seeing who's the players that are able to do that. You must have felt you're in the fight, not yet six. Six, it's a simple game, isn't it? Can burn you pretty quickly. Uh, now nah, you're right. We, again, as I said, it, it goes back to I thought at half time we're in a really good position because we had the wind at our back. Um, we, didn't seem like there was many chinks in the arm with the first half. We had an opportunity we didn't take um, on the knock on in the goal. Um, the boys were really good. Um, it's just on the unfortunate part is, you know, they suffocated us a bit the second half. We struggled to get an hour end. I thought their, their tackling was was really good. Um, and I thought their ability to just march up the field was probably what let us down as well. So um, it sort of was a way to field position and territory and I think then it got a little bit too hard or we made some poor choices that were the easier choices um, to make at times. And um, as I said, what happens here is you get burnt quickly in this game. Uh, if you don't, don't turn up, don't do your role, don't fill any position, the score on as it did, it blew out pretty quickly there at the end. It just got a bit too difficult. How's Brent? How's Brent? Sorry? How's Brent Nathan? Um, it's okay. <laughs> Chatted to him. Uh, obviously, we have to just see what happens now in the next 24 hours and, and address whatever gets raised from that. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. As I said to Brent, I've said to the rest of the players, we're, we've got, mate, we're by their side through the good and the bad. The, the good they can handle on their own, the bad, we've got to make sure we're here with them. You know, that's, that's something that I want to be as a coach or something that I want to have. If it's a 12 week role, I'll make sure I look after these guys as good as I can for 12 weeks coach them as well as I can um, and then if I need to cuddle, cuddle them, if we need to kick up the bum, kick them up the bum and we'll fight in this together. When you, when you saw it not easy, did you sort of think immediately that it was going to be a send off? No, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, I guess you're happy though with the spot. Are you okay with the decision to have him sent off? Uh, that's the decision they've made so um, that's the decision they felt like so we'll just, we'll just see what happens over the next 24 hours. We'll assess what we need to do and we'll make our decisions uh, on the outcome that gets handed to us. So yeah, mate, we can't control what they do. No, you spoke about kick up the bum when required. One all set restarts, ignore that. Penalties 9-3 against. Was that a bit of ill discipline on your behalf or did you not get the right rub in the game? Uh, I thought the first half we were in the fight. I think the first half actually we should have been in a better position than we were. A um, couple of penalties away for poor choices. Three in the tackle, two in the tackle and thought rating the boy was okay. Not at marker and trying to be at marker and tackle him from behind. I think there are penalties every day that I've seen in the game. Probably you, Matty, as well. They don't change on those things. And then the discipline probably flowed a little bit on poor choices. Um, poor choices whilst fatigue was coming, or poor choices because it was it was the easier option to take than the harder option to take. Early in the second half, down 6-4, you made a break, and they seemed to be on the tackle play for a long, long time. With no penalty, no set restart, with the game at a crucial stage. Do you look back at that and think, oh, what happened there? Why didn't we get at least a set restart, not a penalty? Uh, I'm not too worried about when they do or don't give set restarts or, or do give you the benefit of the doubt. Um, you make your own luck, you take opportunities. Sometimes, as I said, Brent dropped the ball in the end goal. I thought it was a try until they showed us on the replay that he dropped it just before it. There's so many things, Matt, in the game that take little stages that lead to a big picture. There's, nothing, there's no one big thing that, that leads to the outcome of the game. So they slowed us down, yeah, maybe. They, we probably tried to slowed them down a few times and got away with it. It's the, it's the flows of the game. But just, just back up Brent Nate for a minute. Like, you came over that tackle with Moly in the first half. I think a lot of people thought that might be the anything with concussion. What was the medical staff saying to you at half time? That he'd passed his HIA and he's able to go on the field. Do you think in the first first 15 minutes you seem to be playing a much more expansive style than, than what was being played under match? And I wonder how much of that was something that you know just happened, or was it something that you told them to go out and do and play a bit more footy than they perhaps have had in the past? Uh, I'm not sure what they'll tell in the past. Um, I want them to have confidence. I want them to trust their attack systems. I want them to play a bit of footy. I want to feel like you've earned the right to play some footy. If you win a, we win and play the ball, 
um, you play some, you move the ball. Um, it's a pretty boring game if you do five hit-ups and kick to the corner. So I would like to think that we can improve some skill, uh, make them feel like they know what they're doing, play on the front foot. The, you know, as I said, they, they tackled great the second half, mainly. So <clears throat> when you're playing NRL, what I've learned very quickly today, or probably knew before today, but it just keeps re-proving re, um, is that everyone works so hard defensively. The best defensive teams win the comp. So if you're going to make momentum and move the defensive run and round and get them the, to make poor choices, you've got to make sure you're pretty good. Jimmy, it's obviously been a pretty hard week. How's the moving the sheds now compared to after other losses? Is it, is it almost live, given what you've gone through? You know what? Uh, in the week, obviously, it was unfortunate what happened, and and I thought, um, OK, there's going to be a bit of disjoint or uncertainty going around, but um, Brett and the coaches kept it pretty uh, consistent with training, so our mindset went straight to training, which was good. Um, you know, you need consistency w when there's uncertainty. Um, so that went well. As, as, as far as the game goes, Brett hit the nail on the head. You, 80 minutes of purposeful actions. Um, we, we let uh, doubt creep into our mind and we're willing to take the shortcut or the shortcut option. And um, Brett said earlier, you know, we will, we will train hard and if any of you are not willing to, to make those purposeful actions for 80 minutes, and you know, we'll put someone in there that will. And that was, you know, that hit the spotlight right on it. That's the team we need to be. And a lot of that's mental toughness. So, um, you know, he's laid the laid the um, platform out for us and we've just got to buy in, you know. You like haven't won a second half all year. Mm -hmm. I mean, 14 rounds in now. I mean, is, that, is mental toughness the biggest thing there? Is it fitness? No, I think, like I said, you know, little things, little concentration errors that put out in our mind we were unable to go back to the game plan that we put 40 minutes on prior things like and then, then we try things we're not we're, we're not even doing that training you know that's that's a bit of a kick in the gut we're devaluing what we're doing at training um and that, that there you know and 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 brett like i said spot the um hit the nail on the head that if you're not willing to do what it takes for 80 minutes and um you know we'll get someone in that wheel but uh, again, it's that concentration factor that you know allows us to be in the game for 40 minutes. You know, we're just and and the opposition has 50 percent. You know, against that, they're, they're they're playing hard. They're doing everything they can to put you off the game. So again, it's just a concentration thing for 80 minutes that we need to work on. Are you only in charge for a few days? Are you realising normally this task? How big is this task to try and turn the team around for the next you know, 10 or 11 weeks? It's a good challenge. Really excited about it. I think, you know, there's so many good things that's happening at the club that isn't being seen, but as you said, everything's a performance related issue at any football club. Um, nothing's going to happen very quickly. I'm a realist that um, I realise that, you know, the fight I'm in now, um, the challenge it is, um, I, you know, I enjoyed today. It's a weird thing to say, you're getting, getting your ass smacked, but I actually enjoyed the opportunity to be an NRL head coach. Now I, need, now I know what you got to work on. How, how do you keep improving? What are the challenges? What are the little steps you need to take? Um, how do we get better? How do we how do we get confidence in the second half that we actually can get into a fight and have the ability to win the second half? You know, I've, I've been around this game for a long, long time to understand what's required, what it takes, how to get people out of being uncomfortable or not confident, um, to make small increments, to make them better. Um, so I'm not. There's, I can assure you now. Um, Medically, we've all been fine, so we're not. Uh, I'm not reaching for change of people to make answers. A group I got to, together this week were, were great, who wanted to train hard to win. We'll get a review done, we'll coach players, we'll make sure they're a little bit better next week, and we'll fight our backsides off to make sure we do as good as we can for this football club. Okay.